So I've been working on the AC forever and I had to charge my system on the Honda just because I knew there was a leak. Everything leaked out over about two and a half months and I charged it up again, put some dye in it and now I'm going to go see if I can find the leak. I got my UV light from Harbor Freight. I've turned out all the lights. Let's go see what I find. So this UV light's cool. You can see it as I'm just shining it on the ground. And, oh yeah, check it out. Looks like I spilled some dye. I have a suspicion that my leak is coming from the receiver dryer. Right where it leaves. Oh yeah, geez, look at that. Uh, you think? There it is, my friends. Really obvious, isn't it? Right there is the receiver dryer, and you can see the leak is all over at the bottom of it. It's just spraying out everywhere. Oh, there we go, finally focused in. That's cool. Kind of nice to know. So, I can get that fixed up, and my AC system will not die on me again. I'm going to look some other places just in case. Okay, now, one of the problems that you've got to have is when you make a big mess and you spill dye everywhere. So this right here is not, there's, I mean, there's no leak here because it, I saw it before and there was no leak and now that's because I made a mistake. And it leaked all the way down this line. You can see it all over there. But that is not, that's not my leak. That's just me making a mistake. So there you go there. Not seeing anything else on any of these lines. Ooh. Wait, hold on. Look at that. I don't know if you can see it. I'm trying to get a good angle on it. I can get my light down here. There, you can kind of, there you go. You can see it. It is leaking at the gasket going in to the compressor. So that's good to know too. Those gaskets need to be replaced. Don't see any leaking here at the switch. Or on the condenser unit except for at the receiver dryer. Where that is. It's just leaked all over, shot all over the place. Guys, really successful. I am so happy. I mean, can you tell? <laughs> no, seriously. I have spent the last couple of months just trying to chase that down and what I realized is I needed to hook up my, um, I got a new manifold gauge set and I hooked those up and allowed me to co make sure that the pressure was right both on the low and the high side. And once I got it all pressurized, then I could see the leaks manifesting themselves and now I can fix them. Oh, that's going to be so nice because it's been hot. Well guys. I'll probably make a final video of me driving along with the cool air in my face. Till that day.